How do you, Joseph? Oh, uh, not bad, not bad. Uh, just taking off some trash to burn. Got some rain yesterday. We sure did need it. Yeah, about uh, three inches in the rain gauge. What you got in the bag? I thought you said it was trash. Something smelled pure rotten in there. <laughs> well, I hate to say it, but uh, Bear killed a deer this morning and left in the front yard. Where Bear at? Don't he normally stick close to you? Oh, he's just off doing his rounds, I reckon. Yeah? That sure is a small deer. It's just a fawn now. I didn't want nobody to get upset. So don't you worry about it. You know, that Johnny drive by and he say he saw a woman in your yard. He say she dead. Now what you got in the bag there, mister? What exactly are you saying, Mr. Lewis? Where's that lady at? What'd you do to her, Joseph? I found her. Now you always been such a nice boy. Why do you kill that lady? I didn't kill her. She was in my front yard. I look in your eye. I know you kill her. I told you. I didn't kill her. What are you doing? I'm calling the police. You a killer. They're gonna come get you. You're playing with someone like Holland's money. You need to learn how to spend it, young man. Twenty. Twenty thousand. Does that work for you? Twenty. You've been winning hands. Let's make it thirty thousand. Call. Cool. Twenty-eight thousand to put you all in. That's it, boy. Now you're having some fun with the old man's money clip. I think I'm gonna have an even better time with yours. Slick little shit, Holland. How should I have known you'd have been here? Like I've been there schmoozing those suburbanites like your wife. Those suburbanites work hard to keep this city running. Please. Like any of them ever worked a day in their lives. Huh. And you have? I fought for this godforsaken country while you and those schmucks in there cashed in. I hope your mother saved me a dance. Don't be mad, sweetie, but I'm really not hungry today. Don't worry, me neither. I just figured one last meal before I go. Yeah, I'm really gonna miss you, Dad. I remember when I first brought you home. You were just perfect. I couldn't take my eyes off of you. <sighs> Looks like James is here.